Vicky Marie. So I'm here today to talk about Sasha Marsden, who was only 16 years old when she was lured to her death by a horrible man called David Minto, um, who on the promise of a job, he promised to give her a job. And um, unfortunately for her, he was a psychopath. So let's have a look at Sasha. So I think you can see that, okay. So this is Sasha. Sasha was only 16 years old. I had everything up here ready to show you and then I accidentally uh, came out of the stream and um, lost everything that I had prepared. But anyway, it doesn't matter. So, yeah, I was saying, this is a, a case that I knew a little bit about. I didn't know a lot about, but I had seen about the case before. And I haven't had time to research it as much as I would normally research a case because uh, it's important that this gets out today because um, Sasha's sister is campaigning for, um, you know, the extension of, of the perpetrator's sentence. And we're going to look at, we're going to watch a video of Sasha's sister talking, you know, in her own words, what she's looking for from you, from me and from you, which is just the signing of a petition. So let me first tell you a bit of a background to the case. So Sasha was 16 years old and this um, murder happened in Blackpool. Gosh, Blackpool. Why, I, don't, I don't know why, whether it's just because... Uh, you know, I have a lot of connections now with that area because of the Nicola Bully case, but it just seems to be Blackpool's quite a dangerous place, isn't it? Anyway, for young girls, we had the Charlene Downs case, and now this is Sasha Marsden. This happened on the 31st of January in 2013, so it's a little while ago. She would be 26 now. Uh, if she'd been allowed to continue her life. She was stabbed to death by David Minto. Um, and he was the caretaker of a local hotel. It, and I think it was his girlfriend's hotel. Um, and he lured Sasha there with the promise of work, you know, to give her some work cleaning, I believe. And um, she was looking for some extra money, you know, most 16 year olds are. And, and then he, so he enticed her um, to the, the place. He enticed her there on the promise of work. And then when she arrived there, he stabbed her. Um, I did say how many times, many, many times, 58 times he stabbed her. Uh, he sexually assaulted her when she was probably, when she was either dead or dying. And then he wrapped her body in carpet underlay and bin liners and set her on fire and left her out the back of the hotel. Now, um, Sasha had been studying childcare at a local college. She lived with her parents and staying in near Blackpool. She had once been missing for six days before being found in low stuff Suffolk. She was probably more or less a typical teenager. I'm sure she had issues. If any of you, if, you had teen if you've had teenagers and you didn't have issues, you were really lucky because you all, you know, teenagers have issues. It's not, it's a difficult time, isn't it, to be alive? But uh, anyway, um, David Minto, his name was. I, I, you know, I don't think I'm even going to show a picture of him. There, there will be a picture on the thumbnail. I don't even want to show his photo. So he's the caretaker of a local hotel and he was charged with a murder. Um, but the woman, which I presume was his girlfriend, was released without charge because I think this was his girlfriend's hotel. Um, and he, he arranged for Sasha to be there on a day when he knew his girlfriend wouldn't be there. So he was found guilty and he was sentenced to life imprisonment with a minimum time of 35 years to serve before being eligible parole for parole. He, he did appeal, but his sentence was upheld. So that's great. 35 years from uh, 2013. But of course, it's not really life, isn't it? This is what we talk about often. 
And now uh, Sasha's sister, Gemma, she campaigns to help, you know, sexual assault victims and to change community attitudes amongst young people and what she's doing is sorry my dog's just not trying to get me to uh, give him a cuddle uh what she's doing is she's she's set up trying to what she what her uh, goal is if you like is to have his sentence turn to a, a, a life tariff you know the maximum life tariff tariff where he can never be released so that's what she's campaigning for now unfortunately i didn't see uh, somebody tagged me the 411 how 411 um tagged me and asked me to promote this video uh, this case and i didn't see it um until the, literally this morning so i'm going to see if i can can't get the view post see if i can get the so we're going to, we're going to listen to her sister's video uh which tells you what her intention is or what she's campaigning for so we're going to hear um, her sister in her own words tell us what she wants from us. And while you're over there, if you uh, try and give the 411 a subscribe because she, the 411 channel, she uh, does really concentrate on issues of safety of women and young girls and domestic violence so please give her a subscribe if you go over to her channel she's a, one of my members and uh, she she really uh, is trying hard to make a difference hi i'm katie and the girl in the photo is my sister sasha when sasha was 16 years old she was murdered by david minto David Minto lured her to the hotel by promise her in a job. Uh, once she got there, he attacked her from behind, stabbing her 57 times just to the back of the head and over 100 times to her head, face and neck. While she lay dying, David Minto then raped her. David Minto was sentenced to 35 years in prison, but we've since found out that he actually met the criteria for a whole life order. But when our family have tried to appeal this sentence, we've been told that we should have applied within 28 days from sentencing, otherwise we no longer have the right to appeal. We're campaigning to remove that 28 day time limit in cases of murder um, so that families like ours can have adequate time to appeal the lenient sentences of these offenders. We, we only have three days left um, to get signatures for this petition. The deadline is this Wednesday. Please help us by signing the petition and sharing it. Um, let's get justice for Sasha and justice for other murder victims and their families. Hi, my name's Katie. Sasha Marston was my little sister and she was murdered when she was 16 years old on the 31st of January 2013. My family are currently campaigning. We're trying to remove the 28 day time limit from the unduly lenient sentence scheme so that but then we can appeal a murderous sentence because he received 35 years. However, the sentencing guidance does say that he should have received a whole life order if, those, if that guidance had been followed. We did set up a petition which the Gazette distributed last week for us in a plea to try and get signatures at the last minute, but unfortunately we didn't get the amount required. So we've set up a new petition. Um, which we need a hundred thousand signatures on we've got six months to achieve this it seems like a long time but we didn't achieve it last time um if you did sign the last petition it, they don't carry over and we have to start from scratch so please also sign this one for us um, and also make sure you click the link that comes in your email otherwise the signature won't be counted as you have to verify it thanks everyone okay This, uh, the purpose of this video that I'm making is to highlight that and uh, hope that um, you will sign the petition and I'm not sure what the deadline is. I've just signed it I'm not sure what the deadline on the petition is 
but the link will be in the description box i've put it on my community post as well so i'm just hoping that they do at this time they do get enough signatures within the time you know it seems so unfair doesn't it that, to find out that you could have um requested a whole life tariff but you didn't know at the time how many of us would know that you know i think their solicitor was remiss you know to not tell them i mean they you know this it's up to the, the solicitors know the law um surely there was a a, a family solicitor the, the or the prosecutor or somebody should have told them you know that that was uh, what they could do because it, it, it must be awful to think that one day he's young enough david minto scumbag he is young enough that when he comes out he won't be that old you know he'll be younger than me probably now uh i you know i don't know how old he is i don't even want to, to know about him all i want to know about him is that he's in prison and that he's not going to get out so please please sign this uh, petition so thank you bye